I'm Kate from the Small Things blog. Today we're going to do a horizontal French twist. Um, a French twist is a really classic old school style where normally in a traditional French twist kind of all the hair is gathered to the center in the back and then the hair on the right side kind of folds over it and hides any pins to hold it. So it's just kind of a vertical, very folded and tucked, polished look. But we're going to do that horizontally today or maybe a little bit on an angle. Um, my hair has been curled with a curling iron and then I had it styled half up, but I've taken it down to kind of start from scratch with you. So I have a little bit of teasing remaining and I've got some Kenra finishing spray, the volume 25, on it as well. Um, but we're going to tease it a little bit more just to give it a little bit more height and volume. So I'm just going to do kind of a rough tease just to add a little width so you can see what that did. We'll do that around the back as well. So we just kind of want to give a good foundation. But then you want to make sure you smooth it through so you don't see any of that teasing. I like to do most of that with my fingers. But if you need to use a comb, go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so we're pretty smooth. We're going to start by sort of pinning our hair in a half up style. So I have a few bobby pins ready to grab. So instead of pressing your thumbs against your scalp and grabbing all of that hair and trying to pin it, we're just going to kind of grab the top layer, but enough hair to where you don't, you c grab all of it so you don't have any of like these remaining hairs showing through that top section. So this is how much I'm grabbing and we're going to pin it a little bit lower than usual. If you can feel that bone on the center of your head in the back, it's called the occipital bone. If you can pin it right by that bone, you will be perfect. So we're going to pin it right here. And all I'm going to do is slip a few bobby pins in horizontally. So we'll do one more and we'll go the opposite direction. Okay, so we're holding our half up style right by that occipital bone. So here's where it's going to get a little bit complicated, but we're going to take it in steps. Um, we're going to start on the right side and just grab a section of hair. I parted it from right about there. And we're going to grab that and then very lightly flip it up to kind of create a loop like that. Grab the ends and we're going to place the ends right over or above those bobby pins you initially pinned in there, okay? So you can kind of see that. And then wherever your finger is holding that section, we're going to slip a horizontal bobby pin in to hold it in place. So I've got a pin ready. My middle finger is holding that hair down, so we're going to kind of go underneath and hold that section in place. If you need two pins, just go ahead and do that, and really as many as you need. So we've got that first section holding there. So we're going to just continue to work our way around, taking small sections, folding them upside down, and kind of measuring, getting exactly where that last section was at, holding it with your finger, and we're going to pin right where your finger is holding it. We've got those two there. So the remaining hair we have is like the left side. If you've got thicker hair, you might want to do one more section. But what we're going to do here is section off a part about maybe two inches in width from your scalp. And we're going to do this section as the last one. Mm -hmm. So we're flipping it upside down. I've got a few more layers over here that might peek out, but we can pin those under. So we've flipped it upside down. I'm going to kind of measure it up and get exactly where that last section was. So that's right about there. And then pin that in place.
Okay. Great. So now when we're going to go through and kind of push those sections together so you don't have any gaps, and make sure you're all smooth and polished, which we are. Okay, so we're left with this one section here. What we're going to do is pull it to cover up sort of the connection of this part and this part, and we're just going to kind of follow it up, and then we're going to end up hiding it in that first section that you pulled. So let me check here. Great. So we'll spread it out to cover those pins at that first section, but this is just sort of as decoration. You can think of it that way. So we're going all the way up and around, and then we're going to push it into that section right there. Okay. So we've got that section pinned. We only have one more thing to do, and then we'll be set. Got these little layers peeking out. We'll deal with them later. Okay, so we want to kind of spread this section up a little bit. So you can see even just by my lifting it right there is going to cover that pin and I'm going to just slip a pin in right here where my fingers are holding. Great, just enough to hide that. And then over on this side, so we don't have a gap over here as well, we're just gonna lift this up and pin it right there. So we're not going close to this back part and pushing that up. We're gonna go closer to our ear because we just wanna lift that entire section. I wish I had someone standing here, the, here to hold the mirror for me all the time. We'll see if I can do it. So close to our ear, we just want to lift it up to kind of hide that little hole. And slip a pin in very lightly. Great. All we needed. Okay, so then to finish up, go through and fine tune, make sure you don't have any little hair sticking out like this because this really takes away from sort of the polished style. So easiest way to kind of hide these is to slip a pin around it and then just tuck it underneath. No one will know that he's out of place. See? All gone. Taken care of. And then we're finished. So for this style, I wouldn't recommend this for like a wedding where you're planning on shaking your head around like a maniac because it'll probably fall out but hairspray and a lot of bobby pins, and if you're going to a formal event where there's going to be some dancing, but nothing too rambunctious like a mosh pit or anything, this would be a good style for you. But you can see it's very polished, um, clean, it's not going anywhere, and we've got kind of this elegant finish with this part on top. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of fancy elegant hairstyle. This is great to beat any humidity because you won't have to worry about your hair if you're going to an event. Um, if you want to see any other hair tips, tricks, or tutorials, be sure to check my blog, thesmallthingsblog.com. Thanks for watching.